Welcome everyone to GamerMeld. Today, AMD overtook Intel, RX 6700 and 6700 XT release date, new Ultra GPUs, the GPU market is about to get far worse, and Intel's discrete high-performance gaming card is a monster. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, AMD briefly overtook Intel in desktop CPU market share, at least according to Passmark's benchmarking software, which is obviously just a fraction of the market. Still, with Passmark going back as far as 2004, it paints a pretty decent picture. As you can see, Intel has been dominating the market for years, but AMD has slowly crept up, briefly overtaking the blue company to get 50.8% market share on desktop. Now, that number has since fallen, but it shows just how far AMD has come. With that said, the server market is actually looking worse, but the overall market share has steadily risen for AMD. Certainly an impressive feat. But first, while you're waiting for GPUs to finally get back in stock, learn how PCs actually work with today's sponsor, Brilliant. The problem-solving based website and app that has over 60 incredible courses on math, science, and computer science. And what's great about Brilliant is that it makes learning easy by showing you instead of just explaining things. All of Brilliant's courses have storytelling, code writing, interactive challenges, and problems to solve. Plus, whether you're a beginner or expert, they offer something for every skill level. From computer science fundamentals to even quantum computing, there's something for everyone. So don't wait. Learn the deeper side of tech by visiting brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off the annual premium today. Next up, AMD's RX 6700 GPUs have been rumored for quite a while, but we haven't heard much on a strong release date. That is, until now. In a recent report by French site Cal Kotlin, both the RX 6700 and 6700 XT are set to be released in March. Like other rumors have suggested, the 6700 XT is set to come with 40 CUs and 12 gigabytes of memory on a 192-bit bus. They're also likely set to challenge the sub-$500 market, which puts them square in the face of today's next story. For those of you who follow the channel, we've known about a 6 and 12 core RTX 3060 for quite a while now, but it was always odd that Nvidia would put more memory in their 3060 compared to the 3060 Ti. Of course, it was obviously a response to AMD's RX 6000 announcement, but still, it didn't make a lot of sense. But now we know why. According to a recent report by WCCF Tech, NVIDIA is rebranding their RTX 3060 as the RTX 3060 Ultra. And yes, WCCF Tech can be hit or miss at times, but they've definitely gotten quite a bit right when it comes to NVIDIA's RTX 3000 cards. That, and it makes perfect sense. According to this, the 3060 Ultra will actually be more powerful than both the TI and Super models. To which I have to say, if this is true, Nvidia is set to release a ton of RTX 3000 GPUs. I mean, Super, Ultra, TI, wow. Either way, the card is leaked to come with 12GB of GDDR6, and the ASUS Tough model will, according to this, cost $449. WCCF Tech also said that there will be multiple custom cards of the RTX 3060 Ultra, so this isn't just a one-off. The question is whether we'll get to see a 3080 and 3070 Ultra. Then again, just picking one up will likely be the hardest part. And speaking of picking up a new GPU, things are not looking good for anyone hoping to get one soon. Besides the recent price hikes due to tariffs, Ethereum is skyrocketing, with a recent jump that put it just shy of its all-time highs in 2018. Not only that, but Tom's Hardware did a profitability calculation on all of the most recent GPUs, and things look really good for miners, which is obviously bad for gamers. Plus, while AMD's current RX 6000 cards aren't as good as Nvidia's RTX 3000, they're far better than many seem to think early on. In fact, the RX 6800 XT outpaces the 3070 by nearly $1.50 in daily profitability. Oh, and that mining rig I recently discussed? It's apparently making 20 grand a month. At the end of the day, I think gamers' only hope is that miners learned their lesson when the market crashed the first time. Then again, there are some wild predictions going on, so it may keep getting higher. Maybe, just maybe, Ethereum will finally move to proof of stake. 
And lastly for today, we have a pretty huge story on Intel's upcoming discrete gaming GPU, specifically the high performance cards. In a recent story by Video Cards, Intel looks to have accidentally revealed their upcoming GPU specs themselves. In their latest GPU driver, Intel comments the configuration of two DG2 GPUs. Remember that DG2 is the name of Intel's upcoming XE HPG gaming GPUs, which is their high performance gaming cards. And a little while back, I shared one of the first benchmarks of Intel's discrete gaming GPU, but that one only had 128 EUs. Here, you can see that they do mention the 128EU model, but it also shows a model with a whopping 512EUs, which should end up being a very impressive 4096 cores. What's so impressive here is that it's over 5 times the EUs when compared to Intel's current best, the Iris Xe Max. Of course, when it comes to performance, it's really tough to say. If we pretend the new HPG model scales perfectly and has the same clocks as their Iris Xe Max, we could be looking at performance as high as the RTX 2060. And of course, it'll likely have much higher clocks given the Xe Max is made for notebooks. At the end of the day, Intel's upcoming HPG GPUs likely won't challenge top-end cards from Nvidia or AMD, but remember that this is Intel's first real push into the market, so things can only get better. Plus, they may have something even more powerful than that. Fingers crossed. So while that does it for today, are you excited for Intel's upcoming desktop GPUs or are you just bummed about cryptocurrency prices going sky high? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.